Hello world, I'm Braddy Lynn, and this is Braddy Lynn B Gaming up in Stardius. And please allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite games at the moment, and that is Stardius, which it is a deep colony sim set on a broken starship manned by drones and hibernating human survivors. As the AI, which is you as the player, have your drones repair your ship, save your crew, and travel the stars in this beautiful simulation. And I will tell you, it is a very beautiful simulation. Um, I usually don't play these kind of games, but I downloaded a demo several weeks ago, and I bought the game within an hour. That's how much I loved it. It has been compared to RimWorld, which, full disclosure, I've never played. I know that's kind of crazy. I, I think everybody's played that game. Um, but now that I've played this and people compare it to RimWorld, I want to play RimWorld. So I've added that to my wish list. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get into this. I want to show you uh, how much I love it. So let's get in. Okay, Earth has perished. Survivors are roaming the universe in search of a new home. You are hibernating in Gamma Gamma, an arc vessel equipped with advanced AI that will wake the colonists after a base has been established on a habitable planet. So that's our goal, I guess, is basically we got to get our ship back together um, and then get to a habitable planet. Um... I'm going to let the tutorial kind of play out so you can kind of see what we're supposed to do. Um, I will probably deviate a little bit from what the uh, tutorial wants me to do, but that's okay. I'll, I'll make sure to hit on the, the things that are important. Greetings, colonists. I am Ship OS, an artificial intelligence that controls the ship. There was a catastrophic failure that triggered an upload of human consciousness. You were selected as the most compatible surviving subject. I am sorry for the inconvenience problem this is the ship computer this purple thing right here uh, that hosts our neural network try to preserve this device at all costs unless it violates Asimov's first law a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm cool so our drones our robots they're there to help us save us um, and hopefully it doesn't turn out to be like alien <laughs> Okay, this is this is our stasis pod area. Uh, so we have actual living beings here. So looks like someone managed to survive. We should keep an eye on these colonists. Fixing and relocating some facilities over to this area could keep them alive longer. That is going to be our goal of this episode: is to get to these people, make sure that they're safe, and that they they survive. There are 770 more survivors hibernating in the stasis array, but life support systems will become unstable unless we reestablish the power. Malfunctioning pods will trigger premature wake-up events. To minimize the casualties, we must rebuild the ecosystem in that area. Okay, we'll do. Um, if the, we build bridge controls and thrusters, we can travel to nearby planets and use this shuttle for mining expeditions. It would allow us to establish a resource processing pipeline and produce essential materials for rebuilding our ship, and that is so much fun. Um, right, so at this point, I'm going to skip the tutorial because I pretty much know what I'm doing. Um, we're going to turn that off, and I will have the quest show up off to the right so that we can see those. So we'll have those up over here. Um, and actually, no, I'm going to I'm going to turn them off. They'll pop up on their own. Okay, so uh, immediately, and things will pop up. I will get to them, um, but I, I, I kind of already have an idea of what to do. So let's just get into it, okay? So this is our ship computer. Um, and uh, one of the first things it's going to say is uh, there's objects in an unsafe area. And these are um, the spacesuits. So you want to actually get these to your live human beings. Um, but let's go see. Let's just check and see where they all are. It looks like they're all in the same area. So the stasis pod and our human being, our live human beings um, that are up and awake are actually in the same area. So that's actually pretty good. So we don't have to worry about one area to get to and secure. Okay, let's go back to this. Um, so if we can get these uh, spacesuits moved um, to that area, then the, the live beings can actually come in, in and out of their space. So let's go ahead and get that relocated. Basically just hit relocate and you hit where you want it to go. And then the drones that can actually fly off will, um, will go get it. See, this guy's going to go get it right now. All right, cool. And this looks like another spacesuit. So we will relocate this one too. And there should be some space helmets laying around, so we will get to that as well. Um, let's find those. We've got a space helmet here, so let's relocate it. Relocate that bee. Just put it there. And then where's our other one? Sorry, they're moving that one. 
There should be another space helmet somewhere. Okay, we need to find the space helmet. You can hit F2, and it'll show you kind of all the shit laying around. And I think, uh, let's see, where's space helmet gray? Let's find that guy. Okay, that's there. Space suit green is now in that room. Okay, there should be another space helmet somewhere. Space suit white, I know where that's at. Where's space... Come out another space helmet. Eh, I'm not seeing it. Looks like they're going to be relocating. Okay, so here's what we got to do. We need to get power generating and we need to build um, recharging stations for our drones. So that's what I'm going to do first. So uh, we're going to go into electricity. I'm going to just start plopping these things down. These um, kind of help us connect, go away, uh, to the network. And um, you can move them later. So that's, that's cool. Uh, and then let's go ahead and put in some of these charge stations for our drones. I'm just gonna, these, everything is movable, which is great. Um, I'm actually going to order this to be um, deconstructed. This is a battery cell. I have not figured out how to properly use those yet. And that's why I'm deconstructing it just to get the, just to get the uh, resources. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is start getting our power generating stuff going. So we need to get the reactors in. Um, I'm just looking like where I can start putting all this shit. I guess I'll just start putting reactors in here. I'll get like three going. Um, the very important thing I want to point out to anybody interested, interested in playing this game is... Um, you're going to have an abundance of resources in the beginning. You're going to be like, whoa, like you're never going to run out of this stuff. But eventually, once you get your ship built and all this other stuff, you're going to start building a bunch of stuff. Um, your resources do run out. So you got to pay attention to all of that stuff. Okay. Right. So we need to get over here and look and see what we can do to make sure that our people uh, are safe. And like you can check on their environment. Right now the temperature is negative 42. That's not good. And oxygen's at 15%. That's bad. So we've got to get these doors, doors closed. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to have to... Can I close this? I think we need to get um, the electricity to this door. So let me see if I can't hook up electricity to this door real quick. It might not let me just because of... Uh... Crap. Okay, I'm going to see... Can I move... Can I move this? I want to move this here. I don't know if it's going to allow me to connect. I, we're, if that door is open like that right now, we've got to get electricity hooked up over here like immediately. So we've got to get a move on on that. But we can't do anything until these uh, reactors come online and we have power uh, so that we can start doing all that action. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. We got two doors open. It's making this room extremely cold. But because we got our spacesuits uh, moved into here, our little people um, can put those on and um, it should keep them alive, I hope. I hope. Alright, I'm speeding it up a little bit. I want these reactors to come online, like, immediately. Okay, finally. Okay, so we've got to connect our uh, reactor to the uh, ship network. So you basically grab your little electricity thing. Oh wait, you gotta connect the ship's computer to this thing and then to the reactor. And then we have to set the fuel that we want to go into the reactor. So right now we have an abundance of steel plates. But like I said, you're gonna have an abundance now, but eventually you're gonna run out. So just, just reminding everybody out there. <laughs> Because I've run into that in a couple playthroughs where I'm like, what? I had so many before. Like, what the heck happened? Okay, so now that we've got some power coming in, I'm going to immediately go ahead and... Um... What the heck, man? Right. I'm going to immediately go ahead and connect our... These are the little chargers for our drones. So, like, you know, a bit... they will die. So, like, I mean, not die, but their batteries will get low. So they need to have a charging area. I am also... Let's see. We need to get this online. And we're probably going to need to... 
let's go ahead and connect this guy. We need to build a bunch of these um, electricity things. Okay, so I'm just going to put another one here. And then we need to see, can this connect here? We'll do like that. We just need to start like a daisy chain. Is this repaired? Let's repair it. Let's use that to our advantage. I'm actually going to, I'm going to click on some of these things to go ahead and start repairing them because we're going to use them. I'm going to repair. This is a disk module. We need this for our research. So I'm going to repair that. Okay. And these guys will go out and they'll go do that. But okay. I think we'll be able to daisy chain our way up here. And once we do that, we can close the doors for our, our little humans up there. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, we gotta wait for this thing to get constructed before I can connect any more of these reactors. Okay, we're gonna connect this guy here, and then we're gonna go right into this guy. Okay, now we need to set the, um, the fuels for these additional reactors, so we're gonna go steel plates for these guys too. Steel plates for you as well. Okay. Alright. Now we've got power, and can also do let's start repairing these damaged um solar panels just so we can have additional power coming in is this guy good that guy is good i want to also these are little planters uh for food for our humans so um as i see things that we we are going to desperately need to keep people alive i will click on them and repair them um so that they can get moved to our humans so yeah, this is definitely a game of multitasking. So um, especially in the beginning, it's just, there's just you're gonna see so many things, and um, and you'll you'll just have to attack it as you see them, uh, but also kind of follow along with the tips that the game gives you. So anyway, this is a disc module that um, I will desperately need here for research. So I'm hitting on that for um, for repair. This is an oxygen pump that needs to be repaired. This is another thing related to our uh, research um, capability, the CPU module. So I'm gonna go ahead and repair that. And all these things are getting repaired. I will eventually move to one room. Let's see, okay. All right, how are we doing with the electricity hookups here? Okay, let me see if I can't start daisy chaining. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take you off of here, connect you here. I think I can get to you. I can get to this guy. Nice. Oh crap. What's wrong? Oh, this one's not connected. Okay. All right, we're connected there. All right, let's keep it moving. Nice. Oh, well, we're getting there. We can get to here. And now we connect to the electricity in the room. Aha, and now we can connect to the stasis. Cool. And we have now finished one of our quests. All right, go away, go away, go away. Um, and now I'm going to close the doors. So I'm gonna put power into the doors so that they close. And what we should see almost immediately, make sure everything is closed. Click the environment and the temperature should start to go up. It should. <laughs> uh, we don't have any, we do have a heater in here. Okay. And it looks like it is putting out heat okay yeah so our temperature yes it is it is going up good okay all right phew okay so that's done so our our stasis pod and our humans are pretty much safe in here um i think that we can um leave them for now and just start focusing on uh what we're gonna do uh to get our ship piece back together here. And actually we need to move some of these planters in here actually. So let's do that. Um, that still needs to get repaired. Did this one get repaired yet? It has been so, yes, it has been. So let's go ahead and relocate it and put it into our room with our people. Cause it looks like they don't have any, oh, they do. They got one right here. We, I think we got to connect power to it. Okay. Right. 
Okay, so now that we've completed a bunch of tasks, a bunch of stuff kind of opened up for us in our in our like crafting uh, menu here. Um, and one of those things is storage units. And storage units are, um, you basically can't go out and start collecting materials until you have uh, these, um, uh, these storage units. So let's go ahead and just start plotting them. Let's, let's just build two right off the bat. Uh, we'll need them. And then once those are built, I can send my drones out to start gathering up all this crap. Uh, so now we need to actually um, get some research going. Um, the first thing that we probably want to do, I always struggle with this, but I'm thinking since our people are safe right now, I'm just going to do computing. Um, the other thing, so if you look off to the left, um, this is how much storage we have to learn things. So this is something that you have to sort of gradually build up and it's a constant struggle. Um, so why I want to go into computing is I can build these um, disk modules and memory modules so that I can build more space um, to learn more stuff. And learning more stuff is the name of the game. So um, as you can see right now, we have 12, um, 12 disk space and eight storage. And these are the numbers right here, what you pay attention for what you can learn. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the queue so I can build more computing uh, to learn more things. And once we do that, um, I think we'll probably build the winch or we'll research the winch uh, so that we can um, we can um, start pulling the ship together. Um, that's probably the smart thing to do. Okay. All right, so we want to get our planter configured. I'm just gonna select wheat, um, have that grow in. Our little drone has moved over our additional heater, so I'll get that connected. And we just need to get some more power into this room, so we'll go ahead and connect this. Shit. Okay, now our third planter is... I think I'm gonna put make that wheat too. What is wrong with this one? Is it not connected to power? There we go. Okay. I think. And I guess they're just still not growing because it's too cold. That should change now that temperature is going up. Everything should start growing soon. I hope. Oh my god. Okay. All right. And then our research is moving along slowly, uh, but it will get there. Okay. Our storage units are now in. You can see them right here. They don't require power. So I'm gonna do is start sending out uh, my drones to go gather up stuff. It looks like our solar panels have been repaired. So I'm going to connect them to the ship's network just like that uh this thing right here is it we might need to repair it uh this thing right here yeah, we want to repair this it's a particle collector so it can start collecting um titanium iron actually we can show it let me see uh when you i might not be able to show it till i get it fixed yeah but it can collect things in space so you definitely want to get that thing online as soon as possible to bring put this somewhere else oh, I just found that we have a crafting station um, kind of off in the middle of nowhere I'm gonna send a drone to go repair that we've got a disassembler uh, which I will also repair all these things are very important down the line okay so I just noticed that it looks like we only have one one sleeping pod and we do have two people so are we missing it or is it somewhere else? I mean, I did see a bed. Oh, here it is. All right, let's get it repaired and then I'll have it moved to the room. Yeah, you want your people happy. Uh, they get unhappy pretty quick. Um, these are these people are probably gonna get very unhappy. They go crazy and stuff, so. Um, but <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to deal with it. Yeah. I gotta move this planner. 
Relocate, baby. We'll just put all our little planners here for now. Uh, the planners are also used as like the place where the our little people will go to the bathroom in the beginning until I can make them actual toilets and stuff. Uh, let me get rid of you. All right, let's um yeah, I want to start moving these around. I want this to be my my little research room. So this is where I'll put all my disk module things. So that's still got it repaired. Uh, is this repaired? That was fast. Okay, let me go ahead and relocate their second little bed and I'll put it right next to the other one. Like that. Okay. And where was... That one needs to get repaired. I thought I had another one. Hmm. Is this fixed? Well, we can move this now. We can move the large planter. And put it like here, I guess. Is that that's not a door, is it? No. You gotta make sure you don't block the doors. I do that a lot. Um yeah, if you block an uh, an access way, the drones stop stop their task. So that's a thing. Alright, I'm looking oh here it is. This is what I was looking for. This larger disc module. Let's relocate it to our research room. Put you here, baby. Another planter. Is it getting moved? Okay. All right, cool. I'm gonna start deconstructing a bunch of shit that's just kinda hanging out in the middle of nowhere. We just got notified there's gonna be a dust storm, so that's gonna blow. I'm gonna start repairing all of these solar panels, I see. Is there some more? don't add that much energy, but any energy is good energy. You will find that to be the case. Okay, okay, we got our disk modules moved, it looks like, so let me go ahead and get them connected. Um, looks like we're gonna have to... Here we go, connect this guy to this guy and this guy. Cool. And then we need to also connect this planter. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's damaged. Oh, it needs to get fixed. Repair. We can connect. Uh, this one to this one. We will configure it. I think this one will, um, I guess, make it coffee. I, I don't know. We'll do a coffee tree. Yeah, let's do a coffee tree. Okay, now we can hack this one. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, our computing has now been researched, so that's awesome. Uh, let me quickly configure this large planter. I guess we will just do... Let's do another wheat on that one. So we need a plenty of food coming in. Okay, uh-oh, we've got somebody who just woke up. Ollie, Ollie Butler has joined our colony. Um, and Ollie, it's going to be fine because I've... Ooh, and we got a doggy that, oh, that, oh, that woke up. So now we've got additional things to worry about not dying. Oh, that stresses me out. Okay, all right, so our computing research is done. So the very next thing that I want to do is I need to put in some, uh, I think it's the memory one or whatever. Hold on, let me go to computing. Uh, we wanna, yeah, the memory module. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a couple of these and that way we can start research, searching some more stuff. We might actually have enough uh, to go ahead and do the winch. Where is the winch? Here it is. So we just need four memory and six. Yeah, we got enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the queue. We'll get that going. I wanna get the winch learned so that we can bring the this giant piece to this giant piece and uh, we can start getting things connected better. Okay, so now we've got an additional person. So I need to get a, an additional bed in here. I did see a bed. Where was it? Oh, right here. Let me uh, relocate it. It looks like it doesn't need repair, so that's good. And we'll put it here. No, here. So where will we put it? Here? Okay. Um, and then... Now that we've got all these people running around. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna have to enclose this better over here. So let's, uh... Yeah, let's, let's start grabbing all this crap. And then I will try and enclose this better. Because they'll start walking around. Um, you gotta keep an eye on them. And I need to actually... I'm gonna lock... I feel like I should lock these doors. Because this area is enclosed, this area is not. So for now, I'm going to actually lock this door. Lock it. And then the, the drone will have to figure out where to go. Okay, and now I'm going to lock this door. Okay. And that's just to prevent the people from wandering out on this side. Once all this stuff starts getting cleared out, I will I'll close this in so that our people don't just walk off into space. <laughs> okay, so we do need to pay attention to our drones here. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to build a little repair station. I should probably do two. We'll do two repair stations for our drones. So, you know, as they need it, they can repair themselves. You can see this little guy right now. He's charging. He's charging up because he has a little battery. All right, so now that we've got ourselves a little dog in here, uh, you can craft a little pet bowl. Um, I'm going to do that. So where do we put our little dog bowl? I guess I'll put it right here for now. Um, and you can put food in there. They don't eat that much. It's not that big of a deal. But what we do need to get going is the kitchen for our people. Um, those people woke up fast. <laughs> um, and we can't make that just yet. It'll, it'll come here later once we finish one of our other tasks. Oh, man. Why is this unsafe? It's too cold in here still? Hmm. Okay. It says it's too cold in here. I'm gonna... Maybe there's some parts of this room that needs to get repaired. There was one spot. Okay, so the pet bowl needs uh, to be configured to put food in it. So I'll go ahead and... We've got 43 protein in our storage, so we'll go ahead and select that as the food for the doggy. Izzy. Izzy is our dog. Okay, so now is this... Okay, that's what it was. Oh my god. So the floor was leaking, I guess, cool air. Alright. Well, that's fine now. Okay, so I've moved the winches again. I'm not really sure why it's not allowing me to reel in. Okay, now it's let me. I don't know, maybe I was trying to reel in too short of a space. So anyway, so that pieces them, um, gets them closer together. So I don't know, that was that was stupid. All right, anyway, it looks like we've got some, um, some dead drones over here. I'm actually going to have them relocated and bring them over to this space. Um, eventually we'll be able to disassemble, disassemble these guys uh, for pieces and parts. So I want to get them over here because basically what I'm going to do is deconstruct this whole area. So we'll do that. And what is this? Oh, this is a, um, a little cleaner drone. Yeah, we want all the pieces and parts. So before I deconstruct this area, I want to make sure we get everything we need. What is this? Let's go ahead and deconstruct all of that. And then... Yeah. All right. All right, so the next thing I want to do is enclose this area so it gives our people a little bit better space to play around in. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we need to... Let's, um, we need to make a path for our, our drones that don't fly. That's one thing I just totally neglected here. So I'm trying to make a path. Get rid of this. And then I think once that is done, we, our little our little drones that just roll around should be able to move around. And that, yeah, now, now everything should be accessible, I think. Let's put in a little bit more flooring. Okay. Um, let's see. That actually is not. Where is our little... Yeah. 
Uh, trying to get there, dude. I've created a path now for a little rolly guy. These little guys, they, they're, they're stuck unless they have a path, of course. So um, they were just chilling over there, and I've got a lot of stuff for them to build. There are little construction drones. So um, anyway, yeah, I'm finally putting in flooring. I just, like, totally forgot. Um, you can do that in this game. There's just a lot to do. So, okay, so let me fully enclose this now with another wall. Let's get this done, man. Oh, wait, I want the different color. Different color. I like this dark tone. All right, and then let's close this door. Get it powered. Boom. Um, so, yeah, let's... Nice. So that area is enclosed now. So I don't feel as bad about um, these doors being unlocked. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock them to make it easier for our drones to come in and out. Okay. And now I'm not so worried about our people. Um going crazy and also you can see right now our people can do tasks so i wanted this destroyed so our little um ollie butler is um is doing that so oh no they just fix it on their own i wanted it destroyed <laughs> oh crap okay well i'm gonna destroy it i don't want it. i don't i don't know what to do with the batteries to be honest um right all right our little construction zone drone is um installing our uh our memory modules so we can learn more stuff. Um, I just got to get it connected to the network and we'll be able to add some more things to the research, uh, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, uh, but we'll, we will um, embark on that in the next episode. So I hope you enjoy this game as much as I do. I'm going to keep playing it. We'll see how far we can get. Hopefully we can find a habitable planet. That's really far down the road. You can see our ship is still in massive pieces we gotta get it all together we gotta get it enclosed so that um we can add more stuff to it and then start space travel because we're just we're just floating off in space right now we're not going anywhere we're just floating um so um the next step down the line is to get the thrusters in and to start moving and traveling to other planets but gosh that's a way off um but yeah if you stuck until the end that means you probably like the episode so go ahead and hit the like button also consider subscribing and join my crazy camp thank you to my new and current subscribers and as always until next time Bye for now.